The next fun off-road vehicle for Farm Sim 22 is heading our way. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Today, we're going to take a mod preview and first look at the Lizard MJ Mountain Goat by Ridiculous Dominic. He's also the creator of some other things you may be interested in, like the Lizard XJ SUV. We have got the John Deere 4755. That's the one with like 900 horsepower uh, and the tractor pulling back, just to name a few. This is basically a truck version, or maybe you want to call it the Jeep Commander version, if you will, of that Lizard XJ, which was more of the enclosed Jeep type. One nice thing is it also works with a couple other mod packs, like the Lender Unitrack pack. And of course, it had to work with the TLX 2020 attachments. One thing about these as well is 82 Studio is going to be modifying this pack to remove the logos when they attach to the new MJ. There are two versions of the MJ itself. We have the regular one and the XL version. The XL has a stiffer suspension for support with heavier loads and support of the weight of some attachments, whereas the regular one right here, well, this has more of a normal suspension. You can kind of kind of see where it kind of bounced a little bit right there. It's ideal for rock crawling and maybe a little bit more impressive flex. This mod pack is currently being finished up right now and may also be already sent off for testing by the time you're watching this video. And it's going to be for all platforms forms which is super exciting so now that we've got it let's jump in let's thank dom for sending it over for this review and let's check out that customization so other than the flex uh, there's really no difference between the two so we're just going to take a look at the regular mj since like i said they're both basically identical on here we have a couple engine options 350 horsepower four liter we also have the 6bt which gives us 750 we have the bt2 which gives us 1250 horsepower and then that 2000 which gives us 2250 horsepower uh, it moves it's quick and it flips real easy it's a lot of fun wheel brands we have continental we have bkt michelin nucky tires trilobog lizard and back down uh and you can see it bounces a lot i love that in continental we've got a standard of course our design one design two design three four five six uh and so on so you can really choose some cool stuff through there in bkt we've got a similar thing with some different rim options which is kind of nice to see michelin tires gives us chunky boys uh, and back down so those are the only ones uh and i will have to go in and out a few times because it bounces all over the place i have to go like real easy and then into nokia tires we have a couple different designs here love these tires i uh, love to see them so glad to have those back in trelleborg we have chunky boys oh, oh that's we're getting into customization options now and then down into lizard we've got a couple different ones with the different wheels yes this comes with tracks so if you want tracks you've got them actually my favorite here has been the lizard standard uh but i think for today's video maybe we want to just go with like something normal so we're going to go with continental design too our bumper options we've got a brush guard we've got the off-road bumper and we have standard yes we have winches as well make sure you got the platinum dlc installed if you do not have it installed on your game safe those winches will not work window tint standard dark and back and forth between those side steps we have no and yes beacon options we've got a regular orange one then we've got a standard beacon and then the smaller little uh, led one that flashes very cool design we've also got a rust version and a lava version and lava version looks super cool uh, and then the rust version you can actually change the color on that which is kind of nice a uh, roof we've got a snorkel we've got snorkel too which gives us a super cool led bar on there we got police beacon of course we do police beacon number two which gives us a light bar as well then we have a regular like i don't know construction beacon something like that with the light bar and then we've got a flashing one so we've got a couple different designs through there or if you just want to go with the light bar that it's just going to be the very last option the winch as i mentioned we have front winch and this is going to work good as well let's say you guys have a brush guard on there or maybe you want to go with the off-road bumper uh, these are going to be a little bit different depending on which one is which so which one's winch there you go <laughs> I'm funny. Let's move on. How about that? That'll feel, make me feel better. Hub color. We've got all of these different designs for our hub colors. We'll just go with like a yellow. So you can see, of course, only the inside there changes. It's kind of nice. Uh, we'll just go back to a normal onyx black. Main color here, of course, the 82 Studio color palette with some additions that have been made. Uh, we got that green too. Do love that. Then we have designs. So this is going to be our stripe down the back or uh, side rather. You can make that whatever color you want. You're good to go. 
bumper color yeah so you can actually change the color of the bumper if you want oh and uh just just so you know toothpaste tractors and yeah it's there we're good don't worry uh we've got another trim color on here as well this is going to be kind of like if 82 studio had the, the like the copper faction this is what would change there so heads up and then lastly of course rim colors are rim colors this is not a pretty truck but at least you get an idea of what's what as mentioned the xl is virtually identical but uh, it doesn't bounce as much so there you go then we have the mj bed this turns it into just a standard pickup truck we've got a bumper on there we've got the off-road one and then standard no brush guard on there design we have the rust so that matches and the lava winch yep you can do a winch on the front and one on the back which is super duper cool we'll go with an off-road bumper there as well and then we have our color options all of these are exactly the same so main color i don't remember what we went with on the last one so we're just gonna assume it was that then the design color we'll go with a toothpaste tractor straight down the middle bumper color we could change that up make that bumper red and then lastly the trim color i think i did a copper faction so there you go you can see everything that changes now that we've got a couple trucks let's take a look at a few so the one on our left is going to be the regular one the one that flexes really nicely and the one on the right is going to have the more stiff suspension i've gone for the pickup truck bed that comes with the mountain goat in there by the way that's its nickname the mountain goat and on the left we have a dumper trailer from 82 studio so why don't we start there this is the xl so a lot more stiff suspension it does move very quickly though so that's kind of nice so here you go you can see with the uh suspension that we've got on here a little bit more work truck like there are no dualies i was a little surprised with that but no dualies also you can see we got the tippet logo it does pop up there but that will likely be either adjusted or something like that uh, as mentioned 82 will be removing the logos there so should help us out a little bit and then of course the fun one this is the one that i've really been looking forward to uh, this can get interesting so of course we have these barrels here uh they are slightly invisible just don't get real crazy with it because you can definitely push those things off this has been fully upgraded so i've got the two ye 2000 horsepower engine in here and it will flex as well and if you think i'm not taking this on rock crawling map you at your mind we're doing that later in the video look at that yeah i like that uh, it does clip this kind of is what it is but to be honest with you i don't care <laughs> it's just fun uh, it also goes 136 miles an hour which is uh well it's a little bit fast for this as you can see uh something else just just so you know the uh, centrifugal force really don't work too well with this unless you could stick yourself in like first gear or something uh, you will need some type of thing to flip you back over so uh, just uh, bring like a, I don't know, <laughs> bring some kind of loader around with you. Now, since it says it'll go, tw well, 27 miles an hour in reverse, nice. Since it says it'll go 136, I feel like we should probably put that to the test. Let's go. There's 50, 60, there's 80. Oh, then we change gears into 90. There's 100 she's going 110 120 up into six 130 137 so actually a mile an hour more than it says it could hit and then we yee right off of there ha <laughs> ha oh now that is a little bit more fun than it should be uh but as i mentioned it does like to go on its side slide and then you gotta pick it back up and flip it again so now we transition over to a super fun map the rock crawling map from alien gym this should work perfectly fine here we also pulled out the xj just to have a little bit of fun with i've got basically the same customization a little bit different wheels and a little bit different color on there so let's just start with this guy by the way they both have the same engine so that 200 2000 something ish horsepower engine it's nothing new i love the random cows that are just just doing their thing man all right 2000 horsepower take it easy we got a truck here we'll we'll take this up and then we'll see uh can anything else get even close to this this should perform well i don't know if it's going to perform any better than 82 studios trucks but i don't think we're gonna have any problems getting through the whole thing 
Nice, nice. Oh, oh, I'm actually going a little bit too quickly here. All right, ease it up. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's like, LOL, are you sure you want me to do this? Because, like, you could make this more difficult if you want. Yeah, we're, we're having fun here. We're having fun. Come, 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 come. Gun it! Give it a horsepower, baby! Yeah! This is always interesting. I've never done well with this specific set. Oh, yeah! Y'all thought I was gonna get stuck. Yeah, me too. Ooh! That would've broke something IRL. Fortunately, it's farm sim. Let's go! Oh, oh. Easy. I was about to say, am I stuck on a log? No, oh, we're good. There's that. Bring it up. Oh, come on, man. This is too easy. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go say this. One of the best off-roading pickup trucks that we have. It's no monster truck, but boy, is it something you would see in your neighbor's backyard in a shed and be like, hey, what are you doing with that thing? Go off-roading on the weekends. Yeah. Got a couple neighbors like that myself. All right, easy, easy. Wow. Talk about some flex. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I broke it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I may have gotten myself stuck here because... Oh, no, never mind. I forgot, forgot what I was driving. We're good. Come on, dude. All right, this is a little bit too easy. I think we know we can do this whole thing. So if you're just wanting to get a new pickup truck or maybe you want to do some wild and crazy fun stuff and have a good time off-roading with your friends on the rock crawling map or whatever it may be, I think this is going to be a great mod for you. Again, I want to thank Ridiculous Dominic for sending over his Lizard MJ Mountain Goat to take a look at and show you guys for the first time. This is super fun. I love doing stuff like this. I'm super grateful for it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed, join the Go Ham Bam, do all the fun stuff. That way you never miss daily farm sim videos here on the channel. If there's anything else you'd like to see me test this thing with or put it through its paces, hey, let me know. We'll see what we can do for you guys. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.